Hello, what's up YouTube? Drawing Sweet and Natural, and in this tutorial, I'll show you guys how you can easily remove those folds and wrinkles from your plain studio backgrounds and how you can easily clean up the studio background. So basically, this is more of a studio retouching tutorial. So in this case, I'll show you guys the best way to notice or identify those wrinkles and folds and the tool we want to use and how to best use it to have the most perfect results. So this is for people that use plain studio backgrounds. So if at all you haven't liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you are watching from this channel for the very first time. So let's see the before and after for this particular image. So this is the image. You can see the before and after right now. So just want to move the image to look like the way it is looking right now. So in order to have this result, you are just going to first of all delete these two layers. You can say I have two layers right now. So I'm just going to delete this so that we can have the image looking the way it, it was just right from the skin retouching process. So we want to create a stamp visible layer or a stamp for all we have done in the layers below. So we're just going to hit shift alternate control E on the keyboard or shift alternate command E. On the keyboard to create that kind of stamp visible layer and this is what we have right now so this is the layer we're going to be doing the cleaning on to and before we can do any cleaning we are just going to come to uh, the adjustment layers and we create a black and white adjustment layer so what this does it helps to show us the areas that have those folds and wrinkles so if at all we left click on the red channel and we slightly darken you can notice that we have the wrinkles really visible in this image and we have this particular area which we wouldn't have seen if at all the image was in color. You can see right now you can't see like the dot right in this area but when you turn this on, uh, when you turn on the check layer it shows us that that or that kind of information in this area that we can't see with our color layer only so that's why you have to create this so this is going to be like a guide for uh, the areas we want to smoothen out all the wrinkles we want to get rid of in this image so you're just going to come to the brushes and simply right click and get what we know as the Mr. brush tool and if at all you have older versions of photoshop you can simply right click here and you get your Mr. brush tool but mine is right here so just want uh, the brush to be the way to be as low as possible because we don't want to spill color to many areas so i'm just going to leave it at nine load 75 mix 90 and the flow 100 so make sure sample all layers is not checked because we only want to work on this layer we don't want to sample information from the black and white layer or the layers below or beneath this particular layer that we want to smoothen out and right now we have the mixer brush tool set so like i said it is a clean brush and we select the second option make sure that this is checked weight is 9 load 75 mix 90 and the flow 100 percent make sure sample oils is not checked then you come and select the layer we want to do the cleaning on to so when you select that layer you're just going to start painting so you simply left click and if at all you have to move your mixer brush tool towards the opposite direction of the wrinkles for example if at all i want to get rid of this wrinkle i'm not going to be moving the mr brush tool in this direction it means that i'm going to be moving my mr brush tool in up an up down kind of movement to get rid of uh, such wrinkles just go on and paint just like that and as you're doing this make sure you uh, don't paint close to the image because you're going to be uh, playing around with the information so make sure you only paint in areas far away from uh, the model or the subject and just come and paint like I said we are simply left clicking you hold down the left click button and move uh, the mixer brush tool in a direction which is directly opposite to the direction of the wrinkles so these wrinkles are moving from left to right Meaning I'm going to be moving my mixer brush tool in an up down kind of format just like that And this is going to be 
uh, smoothening them out or eliminating them from uh, the image in the due process. So just come and do this. So you can see that this is really working. So this is more of an easy way to clean up or remove wrinkles and folds from uh, the studio uh, backdrop or from your plain studio backgrounds. So let's see what we have so far or what we have created so far using the mixer brush tool. So we're just going to come to this black and white adjustment layer and just turn it off. So you can see the before and after before after you can see I've just cleaned up that area. So just want to handle this particular area which has this kind of thick line or thick fold. So turn this back on and reduce on the size and simply come and move. Like I said, you have to always move your mixer brush tool in the opposite direction of the wrinkle if at all you want to get rid of it. So just do like that and you are going to be eliminating like that wrinkle in those particular areas. So for this case, uh, where the model is seated, you can just come and eliminate like this that like I said move the brush towards the opposite of uh, the dot or the wrinkle that you want to eliminate from your particular image so just going to reduce on the size and I get rid of this dot right here and you can see that it is really doing a pretty nice job and without the black and white layer like I said you can't see what you are trying to clean up in these areas but when you turn it on you can see every single dot in those areas. So just come and paint through and eliminate and clean up those particular areas just like that. It is really nice and easy if at all you really are good and it really saves time. Uh, there are a couple of methods out there but if at all you perfect this you're going to be saving so so much time. So like I said if at all you want to clean up for example, we have this kind of uh, seal tape right here. So if at all I want to eliminate it, I'm just going to move my mixer brush tool in the opposite. So this is moving towards an up down kind of format. So I'm just going to be moving my mixer brush tool in this kind of uh, direction. So I'm just going to move it in a right left kind of direction to get rid of that seal tape in that area. And right here you can do the same to eliminate that kind of fold and wrinkle in that particular area. So you can zoom in if at all you feel like you want to work in smaller areas by using Ctrl or Command Plus on the keyboard. And you can just go on and paint through and get rid of these uh, wrinkles in those areas. And you can get a smaller brush. So I'm reducing on the size of the mixer brush tool by using the box brackets on the keyboard to have a smaller tool to work uh, on smaller areas so you don't have to use a uniform size of your mixer brush tool so let's turn this off and we see what we have done so far uh, to clean up the backdrop so you can see the before and after before after I hope you can see and love these results and if I told you want to clean up these tiny spots you can now go ahead and get maybe uh, the spot healing brush tool and use command plus to zoom in and you can simply come and click over uh, to eliminate them and clean up uh, these kind of lines from uh, this uh, box on which uh, the model is seated so basically this is it and if at all you're done really uh, cleaning up your uh, studio backdrop you can go ahead and maybe you can go ahead and delete the black and white layer and you can go ahead and save your image so this is all for this tutorial and if at all you love this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating